In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about cryptography using matrices to encode and decode a message. So let's dive into this video. Let's say, for example, you wanted to send this test message. You just want to send the message test, T-E-S-T, -E okay, to a friend across the world or maybe just across the classroom. But you don't want anybody to intercept that message and, and read the secret message, right? So how do you encode it using a matrix? Well, first thing we need to do is we need to assign a number to each one of these letters. So if, just say, for example, if zero represents like a space and one represents the letter A, two equals B, and so on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these into little mini matrices, okay? For example, T is, let's see, where's T on here? That's the number 20. And E, let's see, that's the number five. And let's make another matrix here, let's say uh, S and T. So S is 19. And T, we already said, was 20. So this is our uh, message here, 20, 5, 19, 20. But this matrix here is what's going to be encoding our message, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these matrices, multiply by our encoding matrix, and we're going to get a new matrix that we can then send to our friend with everything kind of scrambled, so to speak. So what we're going to do is when you multiply matrices, first thing you want to do, you want to make sure the dimensions are matched. So you can see this is a one row, two column. This is a two row, two column. And so what's going to happen here is if the inner dimensions match, you're going to end up with a matrix that has the outer dimensions, a one by two matrix, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take this row times this column. So you probably already know how to multiply matrices, so I'm assuming that you know that, but if not, you can check out one of my videos about multiplying matrices. So you would take 20 times one, which is 20, five times two, which is 10. So you're adding 20 and 10 together, which gives us 30. Okay, now if we take this 20 and five times the second column, we've got 20 times one is 20, five times three is 15. If we add 20 and 15 together, we get 35. And then let's go ahead and use this matrix. We're gonna take row times column. We've got 19 times one is 19. 20 times two is 40. 40 plus 19 is 59. And then if we take this row times the second column, we have 19 times one, which is 19. 20 times three is 60. 60 plus 19 is 79. So this is the message that you're gonna send your friend, right? 30, 35, 59, 79. Somebody looks at this chart, it means nothing, right? What are you gonna do? That doesn't even say anything, right? So you say, well, okay, but your friend has to have the, uh, the matrix that's gonna then uncode or decode this message. And in order to do that, what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to find the inverse of this matrix in order to undo those steps, right? So you probably remember from uh, earlier in learning about matrices how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. What you do is you switch the A and the D on this diagonal here. You switch those positions. The B and the C stay in the same position, but you make them the opposite sign. If they're positive, you make them negative. If they're negative, you make them positive. And then you divide everything by the determinant of this original matrix. Now remember the determinant is AD minus BC. So it's this product multiplied together minus this diagonal's product, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So for this matrix, the determinant is three minus two. So this diagonal minus di this diagonal. So three minus two, which equals one. Then we're gonna interchange these on the diagonal. So that's gonna give us uh, three and one. And the B and the C stay in the same position, but the signs are just gonna be the opposite. So this is now our uh, decoding matrix. This is our encoding matrix. So say, now we're going to take these guys right here and we're going to multiply it by this decoding matrix. So let's just write this down again. So 30, 35, and we also have 59 and 79. Okay, so let's start with this matrix multiply by our decoding matrix. So 30 times 3, I'm just going to write this down just because some of this math might be a little bit tough. So that's 90. 35 times negative 2 is negative 70. If we add that together, we get 20. Okay, and then if we take this row times the second column, we've got 30 times negative 1 is negative 30. 35 times 1 is 35. We add those together, we get 5. And if we take the second matrix, 
Okay, 59 times 3 is how much? Uh, let's see, that's 27 plus 150 is 177 plus uh, negative 2 times 79, which is how much? That's uh, negative 160, negative 158. And if we add those together, how much does that come out to? Is that uh, 19? 19. And then if we take this times the second column, we've got 59 times negative 1 is negative 59. 79 times 1 is 79. That adds up to 20. And now you can see we're getting back the original matrices that we started with. See, 25, 19, 20. So if your friend now go ahead and goes to this chart, they can say, okay, 20, let's see, that's T. 5, that's E. 19, that's S. 20, that's T. And they can see, oh, okay, my friend sent me the message. You know, there's a test coming up, right, in your class. You can do this with a longer message. You know, you could just keep taking these uh, bits of two, like you could do another bit of two, et cetera, like that, whatever the length of the message. Remember, zero represents the space. Also, you don't have to use a two by two matrix. You can use a three by three, four by four. And what the case would be with those is that instead of using these little one by two matrix uh, pieces, you could do, if it was a three by three encoding matrix, you would do a one row, three columns. So you do three, p three letters at a time. If it was a four by four, then you do like groups of four letters at a time. So go ahead and play around with that. Make up some of your own messages and let me know in the comments uh, you know, what you ended up doing with these encoding and decoding of matrices, cryptography. Great job. I'll see you in my other videos.